Hey folks, Father Sampati from Siji Virus here. Today we're going to see how to work with planar tracking in Natron. Uh, this tutorial will be a bit lengthy because we're going to cover some stuff here. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get started with planar track. So what is the difference between corner pin and the planar tracker? Well, let's see. So I have loaded two projects here. One is this one. So uh, this is the previous one we had uh, for corner pinning. And you can see that we have four visible corner to pin and we have a plane to project, all right? So this is basically a very simple corner pinning setup where uh, always uh, in this footage, always these four pin, I mean these four tracker point will be visible, you see? the whole footage has this four pin visible that means we can very easily uh, you know track four corners and we can create a corner pin so corner pin requires at least four corners four trackers for that now things will be pretty much interesting if we see this one we are going to work with this one today so you can see that this footage particular footage has some severe problem what are the problems first of all our tracker points that is the corner points are not visible in the footage so we cannot track it properly number one number two uh, these corners are you know in uh, with an uh, obstruction so the trackers will be fall and uh, also uh, these corners doesn't have any kind of texture to you know track this one had some good textures so we could track it so uh, for that reason we need to use another approach we're going not going to track any corner rather we're going to track the textures uh, inside these plane projection okay inside this plane projection and then we're going to simply you know do the corner pinning stuff so that is called plane tracking system so if corner pin fails we use plane tracking now let's talk about natron so na how natron deals with it is basically natron uses a homography model for corner pinning okay that means in a homography model uh, we can use more than four trackers more than four trackers you can see one two three four five six and uh, it can be um, other things as well but uh, we can use more than four trackers to create a projection that is the you know plane projection we can create a plane projection from more than four trackers so for that reason uh, natron uses homography model which can pretty accurately create a uh, planar projection from these trackers pretty easily and uh, the all the stuffs actually uh, what natron does as a corner pin is basically um, actually it's it's a plane tracking system by default it's not a corner pin default it's a plane tracking system by default so yeah so uh, now we're going to start working with it so let's see Okay, so let's analyze the footage a little bit. First of all, what we are seeing here is a very basic problem that is called lens distortion. If I go here, you can see that this uh, footage has a severe lens distortion. Okay, you can see the bowing here. Okay. A bowing effect it should be a parallel line but it is a bow okay that means it has a lens distortion here you can see that from here it is actually very much parallel very much a straight line okay very much a straight line but here it has a bow effect that means this camera has a lens distortion which is pretty much uh, anything pretty much uh, it's uh, you know it's pretty much common so uh, how to deal with this lens distortion well in a very fine world what you will find that your cam department will provide you with some footage from something like this it's a grid map okay it's a it's called lens grid map 
and uh, uh, you will get a uh, five to six second uh, grid map for each lenses okay for each lenses a five to six second uh, um, movie file from that we can track these grids and we can actually automatically uh, correct the grid warp that is the lens distortion automatically we can correct these distortions and uh, also here is a checker map uh, you can also uh, create uh, you can go to full view and you can actually you know uh, create a handheld uh, shot from this uh, this thing you know and uh, you can use it to uh, track your uh, track your checkerboard and uh, you can get a pretty much accurate result for your lens distortion but we are not in a perfect world and uh, that is uh, very much common that we may not get our lens data and camera data so how to deal with it okay so uh, now we're going to use a manual approach of undistorting these distortion okay so let's see before going further i'm in blender uh, i just want to show you that uh, uh, how we could uh, get the data from uh, you know the lens distortion uh, this is not possible with this footage because we have no tracker marks and everything so uh, it will be quite much difficult but uh, if we were in uh, uh, you know um, ideal shot then we could use the soft camera radial distortion and we could have these um, track and we could have these camera lens distortion here is a new version as well so we could use this one uh, i will uh, i will try to um, create a tutorial on it later but for now let's go for manual approach because if everything fails manual approach will work so uh, let's get started um first thing first is basically we're going to uh, see what is a very good reference point for us in this footage let me see i'll go for one yeah uh, i think it is 52 to 53 yeah let's go for 52 and here we're going to uh, uh this will be our reference point uh where we are going to use some lens distortion and we're going to correct it so press tab and create a lens distortion effect and uh here we're going for nuke and we're going for undistort okay now what i'm going to do is basically here press o to create a roto mask and now let's go to mm, not here let's go here go to pencil tool okay now uh, i'm just going to create a straight line from here to there see how much boing it is doing here okay so number one is done so now let's create another pen tool and let's create okay uh, uh you need to press enter before everything else then go to pen tool and let's go for this line to maybe this line okay this will be a straight line so let's go to selection and just go for a straight line okay now you can see that how much distortion it has okay with these things in visual we can go to the lens distortion node and uh, actually yeah we will need two here okay now let's go to lens distortion node also uh, it needs to be visible here so i'm just typing two so the roto node is here now let's uh maximize it a little bit yeah f and let's try to uh, straight these lines so first of all we're going for k1 and as it's an undistort quite obviously it should be negative okay so somewhere here yeah it is coming that's pretty much it so it should be minus 0 0.04 yeah it is straight and now let's go for this one you can see that there is also some little bit of distortion so let's try to figure out how to work with it here we go
there we go something like that so it is minus 0 0.81 or something i think it's so negligible that we can use five yeah let me see what we did here i have also yeah these are pretty much close okay that is good so yeah yeah that is all right five and six you can see that it is now pretty much straight okay by the way i have opened my uh the previous uh experiment here so it will be easy for us to do it because it's a pretty huge tutorial so let's save it and let's go to space f and let's do it here there we go so now it is undistorted press d to see how much distortion it has okay there we go done all right now we're going to tackle lens distortion and uh, now we're going to start tracking so let's see okay so i have gone forward and uh, i have put minus 0 0.02 here because 0 0.5 was creating uh, some kind of bow here uh, actually it was 0 0.4 it was creating some kind of bow here as well so yeah 0 0.2 seems to be pretty much straight here so yeah let's use this one here all right so now let's get start with tracking mark tracking okay uh, for tracking we're going for track tracker and we're going to plug it after lens distortion we don't need a roto so press d to disable it and uh, let's get started so tracking first thing first basically for tracking um planner tracker what we need to do is basically we need to is, uh, start with a reference point we need a reference point so what is a reference point well reference point is basically where um we have uh, uh, uh where uh, we should you know project our corner pin that means um the standard um plate a frame number where we can have the most efficient way of projecting our plane and uh, for this one what I have seen that 80 80 we have all the coverage here so 80 should be a good reference point for this footage otherwise it will be very much you know distant or it will be very much close and everything 80 is a very good range good frame for this one so i'm going i'm going to stick with 80 here as a reference frame number one done so now i'm going to start working with tracker so first thing first is basically what you can see that um we have a skew perspective setup here you can see skew perspective that is you know it has transformation scaling some kind of rotation and also actually a perspective distortion right so for this we're going to use an affine type of uh, tracker so press ctrl alt and create a tracker uh, suppose uh, maybe suppose this one first now go here and let's track it here and in the motion model we're going to use affine okay affine will uh, use uh, trk and skew okay that means translation rotation is skill and skew because it has some skew model so that's it so i'm just going to check affine here and i'm going to track it so for tracking what i can do is basically zxcv that is v is forward that is track forward v so i'm just going to press v and it will try to match our tracking here okay uh, actually let's delete all the clear uh, let's clear the all animation first i want to show you other things here. so this is the clear animation and let's uh, you know the, uh, delete the patterns as well so these are the patterns ring pattern key and everything yeah so let's go to 80 for now yeah and uh, this is the search area so i just need to do a bigger search area here otherwise it will not work so here we go and here we go so i'm just just going to clear all the animation okay 
and let's use this as our search button area and here we go so now let's start on uh, track forward press v and it will start tracking your data which was really good it's good so now let's go to 80 again and press track backward uh, track backward so the track backward is z shortcut is z so we can press c and it will try to track all the thing here okay it is good first track is done you can see that this queue is also in count so now i'm just going to create another one and um, uh, let's press Control alt this one and uh, i am going to show you only two because it will be otherwise a pretty huge tutorial so i find this one will be pretty challenging from my experience so let's see how we can approach it so let's go to track forward that is z x c v so that is v press v let it auto track it that was good okay let's go to 80 now it will create some problem let's see press z here we go okay it is trying to uh, track some search area and everything and it is it can't track it so what we can do is basically we can increase the search area now and press uh, rather than uh, go for uh, all the tracks you know track backward let's do it frame by frame so track previous the track previous shortcut key is X so I'm just going to I can track previous here or I can press X for it pressing X okay and now you can see that it is going again so we can use a search area a little bit of search area here send out the viewer okay here we go okay so you can see that this is how we can very smoothly create our stuff we could also use offset but i'm not using it here now we can press control and uh, we can drag it but i just want to don't want to ruin it so yeah we will have a tracking tutorial um this one is not uh, that much challenging one so yeah anyway so now i'm just going to paste my other tracker so uh, we will track all of these trackers here so i'm just going to paste my previous tracker here so you don't have to see it let's see okay so these are our trackers track one two three four five six these are the result okay there we go all right so now let's go to 80 that was our reference point 80 now let's go to transform there we go and before everything else set the set to current frame this is the reference frame we were talking about set current frame to 80 okay now it will start creating our stuff so let's go to motion type to match move transform type to corner pin and now we have these everything is under control okay and uh, yeah everything is automated and everything okay so if you want to see uh, you can disable the corner pin and you can see your stuff okay so now uh, let's go to 80 and let's uh, let's start working on corner pinning okay for corner pinning we're going to use study night here we go we're going to use this yeah okay so first and first is basically we're going to create a corner pin node it's just like previous one we did earlier and uh, let's select it and let's go a march m b for background and let's select these things we don't need it okay. and uh, this will be a corner pin actually let's go for let's distorted one sorry yeah let's just one here 
Okay, so let's go to the corner pin here. And what we're going to do is basically from set input ROD, which is automatically created, to copy from. Okay, these are all done. So now let's uh, go to March. I'm going for 0.2 or something so that we can see it. We are in 80. Okay, so now let's take the corner pins here and let's project it here. Oops, here and here. Okay, let's go zoom somewhere here and let's go zoom somewhere here. We're using uh, the lens distortion, uh, you know, the undistorted image here. Okay, there we go. Hmm. So, and this one here, we'll do the adjustment later. So, just cover it a little bit more somewhere here and somewhere here. Let's just cover it and cover the green, whole green area. We don't need it. Let's cover it, whole green area. Okay, we are seeing some things. What was that? Uh, let me see. If I got one, yeah, we are seeing the bonding box because it's a JPEG. So what we did earlier is basically press RGBA or just create a shuffle mode before everything else. Go to shuffle, inject it, go to A, color RGB, and the alpha should be one. There we go. Okay, and it will be done. Okay. <coughs> Now uh, we're going to the tracker and we're going to export these things here. Okay, export the corner pin data. So this is the corner pin data. Just connect it, press control and connect it here. Drag it and connect it here. Okay, now let's see. Okay, that's good. There we go. All right. All right, so this is the our corner pin data and we're seeing some stuff there we go so what we can do here is basically we can increase it a little bit a little bit of notch would be very good so let's go to corner pin and let's go here a little bit of notch here we're trying to cover the green here green area yeah so I'm not sure let's see so bright okay two okay and here okay cool all right done so press o to evaluate and i'm seeing some stuff here there you go so it'll be covered up with our green skin by the way so yeah Something like that. There we go. Here is actually your planet tracker. Now we're going to uh, actually here also work with this green skin stuff. So let's see. Let's see a full tutorial on it. Okay. We have some glitch, so Control Shift K. If you have some glitch, press Control Shift K. That is cache. Clear all cache. Okay. Then press L to recache everything because there was some glitch. Let's see. There we go. So this is the cache and everything. Okay. So um, another effect we need to incorporate here is basically a motion blur, a simple, pretty, pretty decent motion blur so we can go here motion blur we can give it 0.5 or 0.2 motion blur as well to see how it affects everything yeah that will be good okay actually 0.5 is pretty darn uh, 0.2 yeah 0.2 will be good 
we can uh, you know estimate it later no problem actually i'm not going to use this one i'm going to use my previous one because yeah i'm just showing you how these things work okay let's cache it after a slight motion blur but i'm seeing that the edge is coming back so let's do some more uh, just to cover up the green and it's all about adjustment now so it's actually pretty much done so now let's see okay so <coughs> after some adjustment here it is here we go okay cool now so here it is if I go here all right after some adjustment here is the thing all right there we go all right so now we're going to adjust some distortion so let's see okay so distortion uh here is our distortion minus 0.006 and 002 if I just disable it you can see the bows and everything all right so uh, what we need to do is basically we're going to control C to copy it go to March and we're going to uh, give it right after the corner pin here so control V to paste it press control and inject it here now uh, you can see that this one is undistorting right so now we're going to distort it reverse effect so now it has a distortion and now we don't need this image to be undistorted uh, because we have already distorted it so just select this one so now everything will match okay so we are uh, we have undistorted the image then we did the tracking after doing all of our stuff you can see this is a very straight graphic it has a straight line and everything so uh, we are going to distort the image now it was undistort it is now distorting the image and then we're going to merge it and now uh, if I uh, inject this undistorted image doesn't you know doesn't uh, uh, doesn't fit because uh, our graphic is now distorted so we need to use the original plate here okay the distorted plate and now it is a distorted image as well distorted plate distorted image all right simple simple now you can see that it also has a bow okay if I just disable it you can see it is a straight it is bold this will bow. so we are distorting it according to this bow effect here so this is the distortion and uh, distortion effect okay here you can see the stuff okay that's all now it is actually uh, doing what it needs to done and what it needs to do <laughs> yeah simple now uh, let's talk about other things okay now we're going to do mark removal let's see so these are the marks we need to remove it how can we do it simple let's go for press O this is a roto note press M temporary march note B to our background A to roto and for temporary we're going to use this BG to read note as well okay uh, I mean you know the footage note here <coughs> so now what we can do let's see the march note press one and uh, what we are going to do is basically we're going to create another corner pin okay so this is the corner pin and go to from set input already to copy from now simply just uh, go to 80 and let's just mm, okay uh, we can now cut it here no problem okay uh, we uh, did the BG thing for you know creating the input rod here okay from and to so now it is all right so yeah now let's go to here and here 
we don't need uh, you know the bow effect or lens distortion here because uh, you know it's just mask and uh, it doesn't contain any distortion if it has a distortion then we need to do we need to do uh, alt k to clone it alt k which is edit clone alt k it will alt k and uh, it will create a lens distortion clone for it but we don't need it here so yeah simple all right because it's uh, just a mask we don't need it there we go so just adjust it a little bit here and there and everything is all fine now what we need is these corner pin which has been come from linked tracker we're going to alt k to create a clone of it and now just press control and do it here you know give it here now uh, what is happening here is basically simple okay so we have our track data here okay done now we're going to roto the whole setup here so shortcut for this is v v will create a bezier curve or any shape and um, this one is uh, probably q q will select it so press v to go for bezier and i'm going for a simple bezier curve actually let's undo it go to 80 okay and then start because we have a reference frame so it will be much more easier to do all the reference here so there we go let's just make one reference okay that is good fully covered great no problem let's do other one oh actually let's go to uh, V and let's just I don't know do it like this V there you go V there we go V inch there we go okay this one will get some contact from hand so let's do it shrinkable manner so probably this uh, we may need to animate it a little bit after so uh, V okay so probably it will fit so if we see it now by the way uh, as it's in corner pin it is stuck with us okay let me see if we need to oh we get lucky there we go let's see press F. let's see if we need other track marks so press ctrl shift k it is glitching like hell so let's see okay so this is the thing if i go to l um we get tremendously lucky because there was a very well placement okay but this one slight thing here uh is not a problem just go here uh where it is uh here probably here we may need to cover it up a little bit so let's see mm, let's go to roto press o to overlay off we already have an animation for 80 so probably here there we go uh let's go for 80 let's uh do a master correction first there we go there we go there we go okay and now let's go time by time okay that's all yep yeah so let's create an animation here and let's just go a little bit here. There we go, and that's all. That's all. Okay. Now let's increase it. And now let's increase it a little bit more. Oops, not this one. There we go. We don't need feather. It's okay. There we go. Okay. Perfect that's it <coughs> let's see it again here it is so 
Yep. There we go. And there are some animation. And that's all. Okay. Simple. So now let's go for green skin and let's see. Okay, for green skin, let's turn off this march. We don't need it. Um let's go for a simple gear. So let me go for chroma. Chroma gear. There we go. <clears throat> let's go to source and uh, let's select it and for the color i'm going for on average of something like this now oh, uh, i have all the off so press o uh, let's go again select this Control shift to create an average color somewhere here it is done now select anywhere and it will be done so let's go here and let's see press a to alpha and let's see how much we get here okay so let's use acceptance angle first then use suppression let me test it and uh, i will come back to it because it needs proper adjustment so let's see okay so these are my adjustment okay there you go okay so now uh what we need to do is basically we're going to merge it with a2 here and let's see the viewer press a and here we go okay so this is the stuff and uh we need to cover this out mask that is the garbage mask to the corner pin then it will be done okay so now we have a proper alpha here okay so that's all actually all right after reviewing it closely what i'm seeing is there is a problem so first thing first is basically we are going to use a pre-melt here quite obviously because it's a chroma so it should have a pre-melt number one and we're going to use an erot smooth here erot smooth there we go and uh, let's use size of 1.5 with an exponent of 4 and uh, we're going to use uncheck rgb and check alpha okay this will do the job okay so this is the thing now um probably you are asking that why it is squeezed squeezed because it's a super resolution okay it's a 12 t 1080 so if you're provided with a 12 t 1080 then you should use a project format of 12 t 1080 uh, but to see it properly what the editors will do is basically they will uh, you know uh, we will write it as the project format and the editors the edit panel will create their own reformat and stuff okay we should not touch it but for viewing purpose we are going to um set it to a format that is 1920 1080 this is the white version it is not our duty also uh, we're not going to do it so just go to distort and uh, actually this will be the hd version of it but we're not going to do it uh, this is editors responsibility to do it they should uh, give us the right position mapping and uh, right you know right plate anyway so this is the reformat so it, when we are going to write it uh, suppose you are the only person handling these things what you should do is basically go for write and uh, suppose we have something like something and uh, hash 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 dot something like t for something okay and uh, if you want to write it properly then you should see it here okay and then you need to do a uh, uh, where it is project format format type project format it should be an input format okay input format and then you need to render it otherwise just write it here and go for project format okay um, because the squeezing uh, the ratio it should be the department of 
editing department it is not our concern anyway all right so let's save it and now we're going for a grading all right for grading i'm just going to paste my grid here and uh, this is the starting night this is the shuffle i'm just going to plug my grid here and uh, it is and everything okay so that's it all right so now let's uh use a final preview and let's see what is happening here all right after observing everything what i've seen that there was um extension of green so what i did is basically we just uh went to our roto and i have just rotoed it a little bit so yeah it's something like that okay uh edge roto here okay to cover up the green area yeah and uh, other things are actually pretty much same so now let's see a final preview and let's see l and let it render so here is this uh, the final one all right here we go all right so that's it i'm father sampati from city virus and we're going to send us time bye bye